we put such a moral authority on people who have gone to war and been through war that you stop questioning what we're actually fighting for. It's like, thank you for your service. Why are you thanking me? I, I didn't like do anything. I, I didn't help anyone. I just perpetuated a system of senseless violence. Just like a deer. This is shop. Yeah. Oh man, we killed the shopkeeper. Oh. Holy shit! Was that not the wrong building? That's the wrong building. <laughs> I enlisted in 2008, so we had already been at war for seven years in Afghanistan. They were kind of just letting anyone who was willing to go enlist. You had a lot of kids who were drug waivers, they had criminal records, had psychological problems. Just kind of anyone that would, could do like three pull-ups and pass an IQ test was getting let in. The majority of Americans that watch Fox News and stuff tend to uh, sanctify the, the military and sort of glorify it. We can question the war itself, but we can't, we can't question the troops. And I think the movie kind of challenges that because it shows to a degree how these kids are out there making decisions not being watched and those decisions have kind of life and death outcomes. There's no like specific mission other than you're gonna go out there and you're gonna walk around and you're gonna wait to get shot at. And it's basically like a, a long, really messed up camping trip, but you have guns and you're getting shot at. War is a complicated issue. You know, there's a lot of like mixed feelings and mixed emotions that you experience in war. One of them is obviously boredom and trying to kind of pass the time without just losing your mind, a big part of that is, is smoking weed. There's drugs everywhere. The, the main cash crop is opium and, and hashish. So the locals are always giving it to you. The Afghan army is always giving it to you. Hey, let me get some. Let me get some. Our cultural understanding of the locals is so limited and you never see the enemy. I know very few guys who have actually seen someone shooting at them. So we take that mixture of fear and just total misunderstanding and, and people end up dying, innocent people end up dying a lot. I think most like Americans, they're aware of how much of a waste of life and money and time that the war in Afghanistan has been, but I think like they don't know like fully how much of a waste it was because there wasn't even a concept, like a concept of what winning would look like. Because even if we were to completely eliminate the Taliban, you'd still have a, a totally ungoverned region of, of the country just waiting for the next regime to take over. Right now, we're finally like actually negotiating with the Taliban, which probably could have been done 15 years ago. It's kind of how the, this, our foreign po policy operates. We're really good at going places and just killing people, but you know, what happens after that? All right, terminating footage now.